We're here at Victoria International Airport and we're headed off to Kansas City, Missouri. We're gonna go to the International House of Prayer, check out a conference and give you a few traveling tips along the way. So here we go. So first tip when you're traveling, you want to get a good deal on the flight. Now one great website I can recommend to you is YVRdeals.com. That's how I found this trip to Kansas, booked it for about 350 bucks return. And YVR is the code for the Vancouver International Airport. So I'm close to Vancouver, so I follow their stuff and they post good deals on flights. If you're in another Canadian city, you can just go onto the page, click what city you're from, and it'll give you a bunch of great deals out of the airport that's closest to you. So definitely check out YVRdeals.com if you're in BC and you're looking for some really good cheap flights. So we have touched down in Toronto and we've just boarded our flight to Kansas. It's 5.53, or it feels like 5.53 a.m. for us, but it's actually 8.53. So pretty tired, pretty much been pulling an all-nighter. And we're just about to go to Kansas, so looking forward to it. All right, we touched down in Kansas City. We're taking the transit into town. Now, next tip. Obviously, if you can take the transit, that's going to be a lot cheaper. I was on Google and calculated about a, a cab ride to where we wanted to go was about a hundred bucks. So we took the transit for dollar fifty. So saving a lot of cash there. All right, so we have arrived at the Fascinate Conference here in Grandview, Missouri, south of Kansas City. Misty Edwards is going to be the worship leading us, and listened to her quite a bit, and she's really good. So I'm totally pumped to be here. We're like, we already met one person here from Canada, so that was pretty exciting, and I'm just so pumped. All right, it's day number two. We did our first night of the Fascinate Conference last night, which was great. It's smoking hot outside. It's like 35 degrees or more, so it's like walking out into a desert, and we have a little bit of a walk to get to the conference, so we'll see how we get through that. It was crazy. Even like really late last night, it was so hot. So looking forward to another day. Got our coffee here. We're going to see what happens. Just got back from a session uh, where Misty Edwards spoke, and it was a very powerful message. I encourage you to check it out online, Fascinate 2016. Misty Edwards, so good. I got my tropical smoothie here at the cafe. All right, so I'm here with Samuel Whitfield, and he's on the faculty here at IHOPU, and he also helps to run the prayer room. So Samuel, if you give us a little bit of the down low, what is IHOPU, what is, what is it all about, and what is the prayer room? Right, that's a great question. So the prayer room, the, uh, the International House of Prayer, began about 17 years ago. And what it is, is it's a prayer and worship combined together. So we worship, we sing, and then we actually shift into prayer with music and then shift back to singing. And that's a rhythm we go through, singing the Bible, praying, and worship 24 hours a day. So, so we do that just down the road from here in, in the global prayer room. And then related to that is where we're standing right now, which is, we call it IHOPU, or the International House of Prayer University. And so this is the Bible school that flows out of, or is connected to that prayer room. And, and we launched it with the vision to redefine theological education in the context of prayer. Hmm. So prayer is central to what we do, but this is the Bible school where folks can study and be engaged in the prayer room at the same time. Okay, and do you get a lot of Canadians coming down to the you school? You know, we actually do have quite a few Canadians. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's cool, that's cool. We do. Well, it's a pretty popular place. Word has gotten out in Canada that you're here, right? So. All right, so I'm here with Mike Bickle. Noah. Yes. Good and to see you. Mike... You know, my grandson is named Noah. So <laughs> yeah, like it's a that good name, name right? Like it's a good Go name. Ahead. Yeah, and Mike's the founder of the International House of Prayer. Uh, I've been privileged to follow him online. Wait, right here in the... Kansas City, right in the center of America, if you don't know where right Kansas City is. Right in the center, <laughs> yeah, in Kansas City. And yeah, MikeBickle.org. You can get yeah. a bunch of free teachings. Yeah, I got hundreds of free teaching, Jay. Yeah. Tons of stuff. And, he's and our copyright is the right to copy. <laughs> there you go, there you go. <laughs> it's really true though, actually. It's true. Awesome. And Mike's written a bunch of books. One of my favorite books that he, he's written is The Pleasures of Loving God. That oh, was a good, really good, good. book. I, I like highly that. recommend you to check that one out. So uh, quickly, Mike, um, for young people in Canada, that's where we're from, that are looking to grow in the Lord, what is some quick advice that you give to them? I would... Uh, really work to cultivate an understanding or the image of who God is as a beautiful God who delights in his people 
that there's delight in relating to him. Because some people think of relating to Jesus as mostly sacrifice. Mm -hmm. But the relationship, he delights in it. We delight in the relationship back with him. And that's the real epicenter of it is that dynamic relationship. So to approach the Lord that way, number two, I would get three, four, five, six, seven, eight good friends who are pursuing the Lord. Not just people who grew up in church, because a lot of people who grew up in church aren't really pursuing the Lord, but more than that. And get in some youth group, some college group, high school group, or three, four, five, six, seven of them, they're going hard. Yeah. I mean, we're all weak people, so going hard isn't that hard. But, you know, I mean, they're really trying to go hard. That, yeah. I would recommend that, number one. Number one. Yes. Awesome. Well, if you get a chance to come down to Kansas City, check out the prayer room. Come check out the One Thing Conference in December. Definitely would recommend Yeah, that. we have 24-hour worship. We have worship teams. We've been going 17 years. Yeah. And we've never even stopped one minute. Every two hours, another team comes. We had 50 teams. It's a lot of worship, and it's all web stream live. We have thousands of people around the world that check the web stream, and they worship with us for their personal prayer time. Yeah. I said, IHOPKC, IHOPKC.org. IHOPKC.org. All right, definitely check out the website. Bless you. Thanks so much. Hey, everyone. We're at the National World War I Museum here in Kansas City, about to go inside. Got this great monument behind us. So, it looks pretty epic. We're going to go check it out. Devin, we're just having an epic party out here. Yes, sir. I'm down here for the Don't want to turn again. They coming from a soul, so it's been their time. So day two has come to a close. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a very impactful day. I will not forget this day. Really looking forward to tomorrow. Only in the States can you get a drink this big. I don't know how big, if you can tell how big this drink is, but this drink is literally massive. Like compared to this drink, look at this, it's ridiculous. Next travel tip, consider using Airbnb. That's how we found this place right here. So we're staying in someone's basement suite and Airbnb lists people's homes, basement suites that they can rent out for short periods of time. So if you're traveling to a city, go into airbnb.com and you can find a whole bunch of listings for places to stay. So for 75 bucks a night, we got this place. It's got a bed here. I'll take you on a quick tour. Right around behind us here, washroom all to ourselves. We got going down this way. We have a small little couch here to chill on. And in here, we have our own little kitchen as well. Sink, fridge, we have a laundry room over there. So everything you pretty much need. And it was a pretty good deal as well. So I'm happy with what we got for the value. And when you're traveling, Airbnb. All right, everyone. We are at day three of the Fascinate Conference, getting ready for some John Thurlow. Now, this guy is so good that someone smashed my passenger window, broke into my vehicle, and took my John Thurlow CD. That's how good this guy is. So I'm getting pretty excited to hear him and excited for another day at the Fascinate Conference. Behind me is Harry Truman's farm. Harry Truman was the president of the United States during the end of World War II. And this is where he grew up in this tiny little place. So if you're looking for a really interesting documentary, just got some time to kill, check out the Harry Truman documentary that PBS made. It's really fascinating. All right, guys, we have arrived at the Harry Truman Presidential Library in Independence, Missouri. And behind me is what Harry Truman's office would look like. So in the Oval Office of the White House. Looks pretty cool, we're getting ready to explore this place. So we just finished checking out the Harry Truman Presidential Library, which was pretty cool. If you're in Kansas City, definitely consider checking it out. This building right here. We're here at the Forerunner Christian Fellowship. You can see behind me, getting ready for the final night of the Fascinate Conference, which has been a lot of fun so far. Oh, hey guys. How's it going? 
Whoa. Oh, he just said hi to you. I know, you might be on YouTube. Oh. We'll find out. Yeah. Go Asian, Asian, Asian. Oh, yeah. This is amazing. That's a wrap, people. The Fascinate Conference has come to a close. We just finished our final session. It was really good, really impactful. I didn't know entirely what to expect coming into this conference, but it's really been awesome. I definitely recommend it to you. If you're looking to grow in the Lord, grow in your faith, be challenged as a believer, come to this conference, especially if you're in high school, if you're a young person, this is the place to come. It was a lot of fun. All right, so I'm here with Kelsey, yeah. and we just finished Fascinate 2016. How does it feel? It feels really good. Yay, Kansas City. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Did you get anything good out of it? Yeah, it was really good. It was good to like hear, like, rediscover the love that the Father has for us and just like get to know God in such a deeper, more intimate way. So Kelsey was literally the first person that we met coming down here. And she found out that we're Canadian, literally right away. And yeah. she's Canadian Yay, from Calgary, uh, so that was so home. cool. Yeah. yeah, you were like so excited. We were so excited. I know that you guys were the first Canadians I met, so I was really excited. Yeah.